This is influencer stuff. Okay, ready for the action? Right now 6.15 and uh, I'm gonna go to the gym, do my cardio in the morning and I'm gonna show you guys after what I do a full day of eating and uh, get you a bit insights of how my meals are right now in terms of uh, calories, in terms of food content. Um, we just started the off season like five weeks ago and uh, so the food Increased slightly, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep increasing the food until the digestive system allows it, of course. And I'll show you guys how it looks like during the day. Right, right now, let's go to the gym, do my half an hour cardio, do some stretching as well, some vacuum. Then we get back home and uh, we cook the first meal. All right, see you guys there. Meal number one, uh, we're gonna have five eggs, five all eggs. We're gonna have 150 grams of uh, oats, and we're gonna have almond butter, honey, a little bit of salt, and cinnamon. We have a little bit of cinnamon as well. All right, let's get this done. So 150 grams of oats. So some, some cashews as well. All right, for the for the oats, just boil some water. And it's just add it to the stove. I really don't measure the water, I just just add it. I'm gonna add some salt. So I have here 10 grams of salt that I use for all my day and I normally use this one so I use sea salt and this is Celtic sea salt. Um, so I put here the, the measurement for 10 grams and I spread throughout my meals. So it's easy for me to measure how much I'm, I'm actually using. Celtic salt has a little bit more minerals than Himalaya pink salt, which I also have here. It has a little bit more minerals. So I just spread a little bit in my meals. I like also in the oats. And on the eggs, I like to add 
some taste, some paprika. Just a little bit. And I have oats, 150 grams, five eggs. I'm gonna have uh, cashews. I'm gonna have honey, a little bit of cinnamon, and one banana. That's the breakfast. but because it's very hot you will evaporate and you'll get the, the nice consistency so for this one we're gonna add so we're gonna add cinnamon I don't measure the cinnamon I just put whatever I like I'm going to add 20 grams of honey, so that has to be measured. Okay. And we're going to put the banana as well on top of it. And I have to measure also 20 grams of cashew. So with middle one, I will do greens, I will do my creatine, and I'll do my glutamine. Especially glutamine is, is uh, very important for digestion, so I keep this in meal one, and I keep this in the last meal as well. And I'm gonna add 20 grams of glutamine. So I just put everything together, creatine. I could take creatine after workout, I could take creatine before workout. As long as I take 10 grams per day, doesn't matter which time of the day. While we're eating, I have to check on my emails, check on my clients, because I have people all around the world and maybe I have some messages during the night and I don't like to take too much time to reply. All right. So, Meal number one is done. Now we're going to go to the gym. We have uh, chest and arms today. I was supposed to do legs, but my hamstrings are still very sore. So I'm going to do chest today and arms. Tomorrow probably I'll take off and then I'll come back for legs next day. Right? And I'll see you in the main meal number two when I come back. Just had my breakfast and I wait like 45 minutes just to digest a little bit the food. Now it's time to work out, so we have chest and arms today. Uh, for the supplementation for the workouts, I'm basically not using anything. Um, I take these electrolytes, 
um, because it's super hot outside, especially in Dubai. It gets like 45 degrees in the summer, so sunlight lighter lights to replace the minerals that we lose throughout the sweat. Also, I take a little bit of salt, like one gram of salt before my workout. That's pretty much that. So I have one, and I'm gonna add another one. So two, and uh, that's pretty much that for the workout, All right? And when I come back after workout, I'll see you guys in the second meal. All right, we finished the workout, we took a shower, and uh, we're prepping the meal number two. But first, I'm gonna take my probiotics. So this one in water. And today we're gonna do, for meal number two, we're gonna have 150 grams of fish, and we're gonna have cream of rice and we have this one rice and grains from prime foods peanut butter flavor all right we're gonna measure we need 150 grams of rice and grains some salt on the fish. Let's add again some paprika. Basically I add my spices that are all the same. It's very simple. I put paprika in everything. That's it. Complicate too much. Let's put cream of rice. Let's stir to get the consistency we need. While this is boiling, we're gonna add. We need uh, 25 grams of almond butter. If I, if I get this the first one, ah, it was over the top, 27. Fish is easy to do, fast to cook, and easy to digest. So if I have a chance, I, I will prep my meals in home, like freshly cooked. So I, I didn't took any meals with me for the, for the workout because I knew I was coming right away to home to eat. And I do prefer to eat everything like fresh. So all my meals I'll try to, it takes more time, it takes a little bit more effort, but at the end just tastes better. I mean, doing this for 20 years, it gets to a point that you, you're looking more for quality than quantity. So if I prep my meals and they are fresh, I, I can enjoy uh, at least what I have to eat. Alright, meal number three, 
and meal number four. We're gonna combine the meals together because I find it's easier for me to eat a large quantity um, you know, in one go than have, then I have like four or five hours of break and I let my stomach digest the food, especially when it comes to the, to the chicken. So in the meal number three, we have 400 grams of rice and 150 chicken. The chicken is here ready already. And, uh, and then number four, we're gonna have, again, 400 grams of rice and one, 150 of chicken with uh, 30 grams of almond butter. So we're gonna put 800 grams of rice, 300 grams of chicken, 30 grams of uh, almond butter and one banana all together. It's a lot quality of food for one go, but honestly, it's a big relief to have like five hours of break from all the food, so. So 600, seven. It's almost, yeah. Okay, 800 grams of rice. So we're gonna put here 800 grams of rice, 300 grams of chicken all together. So 301. Then I'm gonna add almond butter. Alright, I need 30 grams. and one banana. Meal number three and meal number four. So this is what I call my, my Super Bowl. My 300 grams of chicken, 800 grams of rice, 30 grams of almond butter and one banana. Actually this number number three and number four meals combined together. It makes, makes me easy not to overstuff myself with food. So right now it's like 3 p.m. And uh, I give myself a break until like 7, 7.30 p.m. without eating any more meals, which is quite nice, especially when it comes to chicken because I have in the past problems digesting chicken. And um, I can do one meal of chicken per day and two is kind of a problem. So if I put together all two meals of chicken, I'm good. I have no problems digesting. So this is good in the off season. If you guys have any problem uh, eating food or high quantity of food, I do recommend this. At the end, it doesn't matter. Uh, the timings uh, on the off season, really more, more important is the calories that you're gonna eat throughout the day and eat your calories and your macros throughout the day. In prep is different because in prep you have to, you have to stay in your schedule and I'm happy to do my six meals throughout the day. There's less food, I'm hungry all the time. So it's much more easy for me. Um, but on off season, this works perfect. All right, number three and number four. All right, meal number five, and I'm gonna prep the meal because we're going out. And I'm gonna take with me 160 grams of cream of rice, 
So this time, a strawberry and banana. So postal count is 150. Meal number five is 160. And we have already here 150 grams of beef and we're gonna add some salad on the side this is to take with us to the seminar we have a seminar today Alright, so meal number five on the go 160 grams of cream of rice, fried foods, 150 grams of beef, and salad. So, understanding that when you apply androgens, you need to understand that you're effectively shutting down your fertility. If you wish to open it up again, it's incredibly simple. There's certain drugs that. So no. Like it's not about happening or not happening, you know what I mean? I, I would argue it's detrimental to your goals as a bodybuilder. It's urgent that the thyroid axis will come back on its own accord. But let's say that that doesn't serve to be true. So now you need to take tea for like my wife does every day. So, so there are four paradigms for what's called uncontrolled hypertension. And what that basically means is, is for treatment resistant hypertension, I hope, or what that basically means is, so a client presents himself and he has mildly elevated hypertension, if you give him a, a, a treatment paradigm. All right, guys, this is the last meal of the day, meal number six. I have here three sandwich from Subway. Actually, my meal plan says 1,500 calories, eat whatever you want. Um, and I found these sandwiches from Subway or other companies that is pretty much clean. So this is pretty much 1,450 calories that I have here. And we go with this today. So we're gonna eat this one. We're gonna wrap up the day, eat, sleep, and then start again tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for the channel. Just hit the the, the bell on the on the notification bell just to get a notification for the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Thank you.